First at noon on the road to recovery, an off-duty police officer who was shot after interrupting a deadly shooting last week is heading home. Thanks for being with us. I'm Caitlin Nuclo. New Haven Police Captain Anthony Duff was released from the hospital just a few hours ago. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland was there and joins us now live with the mobile newsroom with the latest. Matt. Hi there, Caitlin. Well, Captain Anthony Duff made his way out of Yale New Haven Hospital about a half hour ago, and it was quite the send off for a man who nearly lost his life last week. Now, we want you to take a look at some video that we just shot. You can see Captain Duff walking out of Yale New Haven Hospital, his wife by his side, as police officers from New Haven and a number of departments lined both sides of the hospital's entrance, saluting him and giving him a huge round of applause for what they say is a commitment and bravery he showed last Monday night. And then uh, got into uh, Police Chief Tony Reyes's car and was escorted uh, back home to continue the next steps in his recovery. Now, last Monday night, Captain Duff, who was off duty and driving through New Haven's Dixwell Ave, uh, saw a man get shot in the area of Dixwell and Henry Street. Police tell us Duff got out of his car and gave chase only to get shot a number of times himself. Officers rushed his side, applying tourniquets to stop the bleeding and even carrying him to an ambulance. Sadly, the 46-year-old Troy Clark of West Haven, the initial shooting victim, died from his injuries. Now, the shooter is described as a black man with braids, a goatee, and a muscular build. Police in New Haven haven't given much information on the investigation, only to say it's a priority that they're dedicating an enormous amount of resource to it, adding they've also gotten a number of tips that they've been following up on. Again, uh, Captain Anthony Duff just released from Yale New Haven Hospital about a half hour ago. A huge turnout. We saw police from Hamden, Woodbridge, North Haven, Wallingford, West Haven, State Police, ATF, a lot of folks here to send them as well wishes as he heads home. We're going to have more on the story coming up tonight, starting on Eyewitness News at 5. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.